Hey everyone, what I have here is a protective case from a company called HSU. Happy share up. I have no idea what that means. This currently retails at £23.99 in the UK. Now the company does market this as if it's specifically for GoPros, but you could of course use this for any action camera. We see this happening a lot where companies will always market it as being for GoPro, but yeah, you could use this for GoPros, for Sony action cameras, for SJ cams, for Yee action cameras, for anything really. Um, yeah, so this one doesn't come with accessories, it really is just a, a protective carry case. But as someone who has bought uh, three action cameras over the last few days, if I can get this around here without hunting the camera, here we go. Um, yeah, this is something that appeals to me, so yeah, nothing else in the box there. No um, leaflets, no nothing. And here is the box. The box in a bag. Um, so yeah, I had, a, I had a, a look at this. It looked really good and it looked quite um, quite secure, which is, some of the carry cases don't look that good. This one looked okay. So as far as the case goes, um, yeah, it looks quite stylish. Now I've got the large version in red. Uh, you can get it in a few other colors. Um, it's got a little handle there. It's got a little part there you could feed something through, a little cable or tie or something. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I don't think there's anything in the back. No, there is not. So here is the case. And right away I can see they have... Yes! They put that in everything, don't they? So they've got a carabiner clip thing, which I assume I can use to attach up here if I want. Can I feed this through? I probably can, but it's a little bit fidgety behind the camera. So I moved the camera out of the way and I clipped it in. I think it looks quite good with the silver and red. Goes well with the design. I think the case overall looks really good. Um, inside you've got all the sponges. Get these out. Um, I mean, you, you can kind of see how this system works. I'll take this one out just to kind of show you. You've got the, um, the big sponge and then you've got the little sponges at the side here. Now, looking at the design, this does seem to be more orientated towards GoPros. Um, just looking at the shape of it in comparison to um, when compared to a Sony action camera. Sony action camera is definitely more, well, this is more like a camcorder and it's not going to fit in there. It just yeah, it's not really designed for that. It's worth pointing out though, though that most action cameras on the market have imitated GoPro and they have the very uh, the same shape and design and all that. Um, so I do think that for most action cameras this will be okay. If you've got a Sony action camera, maybe the, the shapes here, you know, maybe it's not ideal. Um, if I jump over to the website, if I jump over to Amazon, you can kind of see how this works. You can see this example here, they've got a GoPro, it looks like a 5, and then they've got like an older GoPro 4 or something. Um, and you can see how they've got it set up, and they've got different accessories at the top and bottom. And yeah, there, there's a few different things there. You can see it's the, the buffer sponge, as they're calling it. So there's a, a lot of different ways to do this um, as far as how you build it up. You take these little parts out, if I assume it's for things like this. Um, hey, that's where the Sony action camera goes. That's not too bad. Um, so yeah, I do think if you like me, have got a Sony action camera. Some of the 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 holes here, some of the the shapes in the sponge might not be ideal. But for a GoPro, you you've got two spaces here for GoPros. This looks like a good little area for batteries. This part here, well, selfie stick, tripod, extension pole, that kind of thing. This whole part can come out which is pretty cool, um, and it you know shows you that on the website, but I want to keep my acting camera there. Um, the actual outer sponge, if I take it out, yeah, buffer sponge as they call it, it feels kind of cheap, but that, this is, this is uh, a problem I've got with all the GoPro carry cases, they all use these sponges and the actual outer shell, I mean look at that, look at the way it's kind of bobbing up, um, they're all kind of like that. It, it, it's a criticism I've got of all these kind of GoPro carry cases because I feel that the case itself is fantastic. The handle looks good, the clip and the zips and all that look good. I like the design. Uh, the upper zip area 
feels really good. This is like a kind of soft sponge in the inside. It feels really, really good uh, as far as protection goes. And, um, you know, here's an audio recorder. Here's the housing for my Sony action camera. That could go in there. So anything that doesn't fit down here could go up there. And, yeah, put that down there. Now, as I was saying, I could do things a little bit differently. Maybe I'll put that there. Maybe I'll put my audio recorder down here. You do have options. You do have options. Um, using the sponges, you, you really just want to get it so that none of your accessories are, are moving around too much. And if you do remove this sponge completely, then, you know, that is a concern. And um, for me, it's a little bit annoying. Oh, that's actually not too bad. <laughs> that's actually not too bad, actually. That's okay. I, c I can live with that. Um, so, yeah. So, is this the perfect GoPro carry case? No. But no GoPro carry case is perfect. That's really what you have to understand. I've tested a few of these before. I've, hi, my friend's got one. I've tested one before as well. And what I found is that the carry case itself is always good, but the sponge is you know, maybe what defines the case itself as far as why you should buy one over another. But I think you can buy replacement sponges for the middle part. For a GoPro, I think this is quite a good option because you can get two action cameras in there. If you've got a Sony action camera, I think you can make it work. You you know, you may have to put your housing up at the top area, but you can see here, I, I can make it work. I can squeeze it in. So I've bought um, another Sony action camera, which is coming soon. Which way is this? Which way is this? There we go. So I could put one there and the other one I could put there. So that's me got three action cameras. I could even put some batteries up here. Um, really, I was just looking for a case that, that's got my main components. I'd like to buy another GoPro case that's got all the accessories. But for this one, I wanted somewhere where, you know, something that just held my cameras where I open up and like, right, all my equipment is there. Um, yeah, so the sponge is maybe one area where some people might you know, not like this particular case, but um, I feel the case itself is is really well made. The zips and the lining and everything, everything there is good. The sponge, depending on what you're looking for and, and what you're trying to do, then yeah, you might like this or you might not like this. But if you check the website, you can kind of get an idea of how um, they've got it set up as far as, you know, two different action cameras, different accessories at the top. Overall though, yeah. Quite impressed by it. Um, the only real part in the sponge is this part seems quite weak as far as, you know, it's bending a little bit, but it seems okay. And you can kind of build it up any way you want. So the last thing I want to test is this upper compartment. And I think that's worth testing because there's going to be certain items such as this housing, such as this camera. There's going to be certain items that you have that you want to carry that just don't fit into the, the sponge area. So, audio recorder, phone. So I'm not packing this in any sensible way. I'm just trying to get it to bulge a little bit. I really just want it to be, um, kind of, uh, right, okay. That's certainly bulky. So I've added a lot of crap at the top here. Um, and this will happen time to time. There will be some accessories that just doesn't fit into anything here and you'll need to put it into this upper compartment. So it's a little bit, a little bit of a bulge there, but, yeah, there's absolutely no problems there. So there's actually quite a lot of flex there. It doesn't seem like you'd have any problems zipping this up if you do squash too many items into the top compartment. So yeah, that's pretty good. Absolutely no no complaints with that area. Um, I'm not saying you should run out and do that, but it is good to know that if for whatever reason the accessories you have don't fit into the area at the bottom, um, you know, you can squeeze them into this top container. No problem at all. So this has been the HSU GoPro protective case for GoPro 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And as I was saying, I, I do think this was perhaps designed more with GoPros and other action cameras in mind that have this kind of small rectangular shape. But the camcorder still, the, the Sony one, has, it still does work. So in that regard, I'm quite pleased because I have another one of these coming. Um, and yeah, this looks like it's going to do the job. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave a link to the, the product below and you can check it out for yourself. Until next time, take care.